If you want to know the best older man, younger woman movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. Number 10. That's tomorrow, Drew. No, it isn't. I met her with Andy. Good God, what's happened to her? Tamara Drew is a romantic comedy film directed by Stephen Frears. Going back and visiting the past is a weird feeling. And for beautiful journalist Tamara, going back to her hometown will be the trip of her life. Once unattractive and with a big nose, she is transformed into the object of attention of three local men. An absurd game begins where catastrophe is on the horizon, especially when some of the men are married. It's very moving. Thank you. So, have I done my duty? Admirably. Number 9. Breathe In, directed by Drake Dormus. Defined by the strong performances from its leading cast, Breathe In follows a British foreign exchange student who arrives in a small town in upstate New York to have a good time. But unexpectedly, she challenges the dynamics of her host's family relationships and alters their lives forever. But when the incidents become growingly absurd, dark secrets are about to be lifted. Close your eyes. You have to take off your glasses. Number eight. One Wild Moment is a 2015 French comedy drama film directed by Jean-Francois Richet. Love is a complicated thing, especially when you are an old, frustrated man who falls in love with the daughter of your best friend. This is what happens in this beautiful French flick. At first, he tries to resist, but the bond between the teenager and him is too strong. Will her father find out? Number seven. What's this? A circle? A wedding ring? You're married? Just Go With It is a 2011 romantic comedy film directed by Dennis Dugan. Just Go With It is the very fitting title for the story of a mindless lie, evolving into more and more incidents changing one's life. In this case, it's the life of a plastic surgeon who tries to romance a much younger schoolteacher. But trying to cover up one lie with another, it will may run down on you like a giant snowball. Okay. Yeah, I would create a fake family for that. Oh my god! Oh, you know what? You're disgusting. Nancy, please do come in. The water's as lovely as Westminster and right. No, honey, I'm good. I don't really feel like swimming right now. What is this for my lipshun? Don't you be intimidated by it. Number six. Sorry if I call you love, directed by Joaquin Lamas. When you finally decide to let emotional stability and maturity into your life, you better not mess it up. When brilliant advertising executive Jorge proposes to his girlfriend with high hopes, he is turned down. His life out of order, he makes wild decisions he will regret later and lets a new woman into his life. Number five. It's a place of safety and we want to keep it that way. How long do you think before all of this just blows over? Wild Target is a black comedy film directed by Jonathan Lynn. Using the electric chemistry between the leads as a starting point, Wild Target finds a burned-out middle-aged professional assassin attempting to leave his job behind. Having developed a thing for his latest target, he decides not to pull the trigger, catching him up in the crosshairs of his former client and driving him to team up with two unlike companions. You're being pursued by professional killers. This will never blow over. Swiss action. A gift from my mother. Number four. Jesse, this is my daughter, Zibby. Hey. Hi. Hello. Peter, should we follow you? If you think that's wise. Liberal Arts is a 2012 comedy drama film directed by, written by, and starring Josh Radner. 35-year-old admissions officer Jesse Fisher gets himself invited to a professor's retirement party at his old university and quickly falls for the young 19-year-old college student, Zibby. 
They share the same interests in literature and start to build a powerful bond with one another. But can a relationship with a 16-year age difference work out? Have you ever thought about that? About what? How everything in life is basically improvised. There's no script. We're just making this up as we go. That's true. Oh, so, yeah. Well, improv is deep, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number three. How did I know? How did I know this? Know what? That you would come to my door. Page Eight is a political thriller film written and directed by David Hare. With powerful performances from its leading cast and gut-wrenching twists around every corner, Page Eight sees a longtime MI5 member left alone after his boss suddenly dies. When a mysterious file appears, he must figure out its origin because it could threaten to topple the entire organization. Maybe this is the moment to tell me what's going on. Nothing's going on. Number two. I never showed this to anyone before. Close your eyes. Copenhagen is a coming-of-age adventure film directed by Mark Rosso. Old age does not mean wise and experienced. This is the case for the immature William, who finds himself at a crossroads in Copenhagen not just in another beautiful city, but a beautiful young woman with whom he befriends. But when falling deeply for her, he comes to the conclusion that to be with her, despite her being half his age, he needs to grow up. How old are you? My real age, it's actually 345. I'm just trapped in this young body. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, shit. It's Saturday, isn't it? No, don't look like that. Are you sure about this? I mean, I make a terrible first impression. Will you relax, Richard? My dad is gonna love you. Really? Yeah, you'll have lots to talk about. Oh, and suddenly age matters? Yeah, it matters because I'm 14 years older than you. I'm not 23, and I'm not married, and I'm not your boss. Why are you freaking out? We All we did was kiss. Oh, stop. Stop pretending like you don't know what's going on. That's why he hired you. Uh, Nina, this is uh, Gideon Allen, who I work with, and Anne. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nina and I are, uh... We're old friends. Number one. A Royal Affair is a 2012 Danish historical drama film directed by Nicolaj Arcel. Led by a brilliant story and rich visual storytelling, combined with sumptuous costume design, A Royal Affair is a part dramatic, part ironic, cruel affair between a young and rebellious queen who falls in love with her physician. Surprisingly to everyone, the two start a revolution that may change their nation forever. But for whose good? Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.